This is Matthew Tallarini from World Baseball Network here with content creator and also big time Yankee fan. You might have seen him on WFAN and the Yes Network is a Jersey resident with Hinch Life Stadium coming around for the last few years. Keith McPherson. Keith, how, how does it feel to be here at Hinchcliffe Stadium today? Awesome. It feels like a holiday. I've been looking forward to this day for years. Um, so many people I feel like spoke this into existence and to see it actually come together. Even when I first walked in through the hallway, you could smell the new paint and the construction. I'm like, wow, it's a reality. A hundred million dollars later, um, plenty of years and uh, work and effort later, here it is, the new Hinchcliffe Stadium in Patterson, New Jersey. And what does it mean to carry the legacy? Josh Gibson, Larry Doby, Satchel Paige, so many great players have played on this field to make their mark to go to the distance in professional baseball. What's it gonna mean for upcoming events such as the New Jersey Jackals starting the regular season alongside other state championship events here at Hinchcliffe. It's important. This is a landmark. It's historic and uh, I feel like Major League Baseball has done more in the last few years to include the history of the Negro Leagues into Major League Baseball, right? Um, and not kind of wash it away and act like it didn't happen or wasn't a real thing. So when you actually see a place like this come to life, it makes people more interested, it makes people do the research, it makes people want to know about the history. There's supposed to be a building that's going to be, I think, uh, like a museum out here too. Yeah, it's right um, three, okay, so that one, yeah. that one out there is going to be the uh, museum so people can come here and learn the history and why this place is so important. And um, just being a Yankee fan, just seeing the growth of what, you know, baseball is, right? The Newark Eagles once stood in Hinchcliffe Stadium. What does it mean to rebirth the franchises of the Negro Leagues and to have one of three Negro League baseball stadiums still standing? Rickwood Field in Alabama, Hamtrak Stadium right outside of Detroit. What's it like to just keep carrying the legacy here for Hinchcliffe and just Patterson in general and the state of New Jersey? It's back to the future. It's bringing the history back to the future. It's uh, so generations and generations can know the stories and know the history of the Negro League players and teams that played here. And then that carries on forever and ever and ever and ever. It's so awesome to see. And um, what's it, what do you think about the future of the Yankees? And now, yes, we're here at Hinchcliffe Stadium, but what's just the biggest key you think that the Yankees need to get on the track to just surge to the All-Star break consistently? Health. Um, after beating the Blue Jays, coming off a series, taking three out of four from the Blue Jays, the biggest thing was not the rivalry, not Judge looking over, not so sign stealing. It was the fact that the Yankees were healthy and the Yankees are competitive again, right? The Yankees are playing good baseball again. And there's an energy around the team as guys are coming back that, okay, this season isn't lost. Yeah, they were a last place team. Yeah, they were below 500, but it's mid-May. There's uh, 162 games is a long season, and it gives fans some optimism to not give up on the team like Brian Cashman said and to keep watching and rooting for these guys and see what they could do. And what do you think about how the pitch clock is now in full effect a month and a half into the season? What's your biggest, it could be a pro and con understatement from that? I love it. I love it. I love it. I go to games, and I also go on air after the game, and it has sped up the games tremendously, right? There's no more four-hour games. These games are two and a half hours like NBA games are, like hockey games are. It's quick and it's still effective. And I think you're seeing a little bit of uh, pitchers adjusting. You're seeing a little bit of the hitters doing well, but like it's good for the game. All of the changes, the bigger bases, not being able to throw over to first as much, uh, banning the shift. It's all good for the game. It's the evolution of the game, and I think it's making it better for the younger fans and attracting uh, more than casual fans to the sport. And um, do you see Hinchcliffe Stadium hosting a Major League Baseball game down the line? A Major League Baseball game here? Uh, it could I don't want to say it can't happen. Um, I love that there's turf on this field. I love that there's a track around this field. Uh, the first thing I thought was, can they play football on this field? What I would say I want to see happen here is a Field of Dreams type game, right? Um, there's no Field of Dreams going on in Iowa this year. They're, uh, they're making like a youth field where that cornfield was. Yeah. But how dope would it be for them to reimagine the Negro Leagues and have the Mets and the Yankees play as the Cubans and the Yankees, the, the black Yankees? Right. Like, I think if they reimagined the Negro Leagues and had Major League Baseball players playing here, um, kind of paying homage to that, that's the move for Hinchcliffe Stadium.
Well, there you have it. We're just about to kick underway uh, here with the ribbon cutting ceremony at Hinchliffe Stadium. Right beside me, Keith McPherson. You'll see him sometime soon. MLB oh, Network, yeah. WFAN, Yes Network. You, you bet all those other mainstream channels here in the New York Tri-State area. Without any ado, my name is Matthew Tallarini from World Baseball Network here at the ribbon cutting ceremony of Hinchcliffe Stadium.